so many injuries, so many comes back. The first woman ever to take six overall World Cup titles. I'm Rachel Atherton, this is my life. Obviously the coronavirus situation is absolutely awful and I just can't even say anything really, but hopefully this can give you some entertainment and take your mind off things a little bit. So just before Christmas, we moved house. <laughs> <laughs> and when we started Derby Bike Park, we knew we wanted to live closer. Dan lives there and we wanted to be as close as we could so we could just ride and, and have fun. And, and do that work in, in the bike park that we, we're gonna need to do. So we found this farmhouse and it's right next to the bike park. It's absolutely perfect. It's only for rent, so we rent it, but it's a little bit shonky, you know, a bit run down, the kitchen's a bit messed up, but it doesn't matter because it's such a perfect place to live. We can ride into the bike park. I'm a big believer in, in living the life that you want, grabbing the life you want with both hands. And that's part of the reason why we live here. I guess I just wanted to share with you guys my life bit more in detail, racing, training, riding. So I thought I'd introduce you to Kayo, our dog. Kayo! He's a four-year-old German pointer. Um, he's absolutely awesome. Good boy, Po. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, the Lammy's here. <laughs> Kayo! Halfway through last race season, I ruptured my Achilles tendon, which a lot of you will know. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick update and a recap of the injury. I just cased the finish drop or jump my ankle the pain was instant so painful and I think uh, apparently I've ruptured my Achilles tendon so bad I'm absolutely good apparently it's so I'm going home a full rupture of the Achilles tendon, so I flew home and got surgery. Spent two weeks in a cast, and then the doctor took the cast off You'll and put an air boot on. Is that sore? Are you okay? <laughs> Does that have any control over it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, go for it. Great. So just up to about there, and then just uh, point it back down again. Bring it down, yeah, and up again. Good. Yeah, this can't control it very well. Good. The air boot felt so horrible and scary and it just felt really unstable, the repair. So I basically stayed at home for a month. The injury coincided with the start of Dovey Bike Park. See all Dan's hard work of the last kind of five years pay off. To see the open doors for the first time, to see the people coming to ride the bike park, see their first reactions, that was, that was special. I spent a lot of time at the bike park and that kind of really kind of gave me that involvement in riding and, and, and racing that I needed, that I craved, you know, I miss racing so much and we made sure to, to watch the World Cups at the bike park. I even did a little run on my knee scooter when World Champs was on. The silver lining was definitely been able to see my mum diversify into running the cafe, all the locals absolutely loving working at the bike park. Eventually I, I got the boot off and, and that was a scary bit, you know, I thought I'd done the most scary bit but actually just chilling out at home was pretty easy. Um, when the boot came off it was super scary, almost 
basically having to relearn how to walk and how to trust the ankle and, and the repair on the actual tendon. Spent a lot of time in the pool just relearning that, that kind of footwork. To walk in normally, Rach, heel to toe. A lot of physio and slowly starting to weight bear and slowly stretching the tendon to be able to put my weight on it. It was just a, a really weird, uncertain time. And, and I was really, really careful, you know, I was so careful not to trip and tear it again. And I really put the boot on all the time when I went out. Slowly started seeing progress, you know, slowly started getting kind of back to walking normally and and slowly kind of putting the weight on it and progressing in the gym, progressing that physio. And I was a little bit behind the physio said, you know, now it's six months, we should be here, but you're here because you've been so scared and hesitant. And, and that was fine by me, you know, I didn't want to come back too soon. It took me about in, until December, I think, was the first time I, I, I got on the bike just before Christmas. And, and that was pretty, yeah, it was pretty exciting. I thought it's been such a long road to this point and then I've got so far to go, but just getting on that bike was, was kind of the taste and the temptation of freedom and, and being on the bike and having fun again. That was what I needed to, to get me through the next few months and, until the point where I'm at now, which is back on a bike and not 100% by any means, but definitely progressing every, every few weeks and, and getting stronger and stronger. So it's been one hell of a journey. So we're just going to go to the bike park now for a ride and check it out. Okay. Ali. I used to hate pedaling, but I've learned to love it now. Or well, I love the pain anyway. So I put Mountain Kings on my 150 Athlon bikes. Continental Mountain Kings. It's because I literally need all the help I can get uphill. And it's so good having fast rolling tight uphill. The downhill tire is just too much to pedal. Right, Ollie. And B. We're nearly at the top. Well, top of the bike park. Dan is on the digger creating. And Ollie and I are riding, having fun. <laughs> Obviously super chilled. Look at that chill, that was a big hill. <laughs> Gonna shred down them. It's so dry, this should be awesome. This is the red track at W Bike Park. It's like 50% finished, so you guys can look. First look when it's finished. Into the woods we go. Why oh, have I got flats on? I'm still riding flats because my Achilles I'm not confident on clips yet, but every week getting stronger. Thanks for everyone asking. Heart rate. Right, okay. 176. When I do sprints and intervals for race season, I can get like 180, 185, 190. So, Dan's been in the digger like some months.
<laughs> that was good fun. Hello, mate. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Lammy. Hi. This <laughs> week. Thought I'd better feed the lamb. She's so cute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Boom. <laughs>